What's going on, YouTube? This is your DraftKings addict, bringing my top picks for Saturday's DraftKings main slates, guys, all right? I say slates because we got NBA back, guys. It's playoff time, guys. We have a small slate. I believe it's four games on the uh, on the main slate today. All right, guys. And so, hey, we're going to jump back into uh, uh, NBA as well. And also, I got some everybody be love for you guys, too. So, we're going to be combining both into this one video, guys. So, all right, as you can see, guys, my research tool is on the board. It's a draft dashboard, guys. There's a seven-day trial for one buck link in the description, guys. Give it, a, give it a shout out. Check it out if you like it. Keep it. If you hate it, drop it. All right, it's that simple, guys. But I love it because it's simplified and it puts all the data right in front of you and makes DFS decisions a little bit easier. All right, so you don't have to go digging in several different spots, but Let's go ahead and get into the top plays, guys. So let's go ahead and just start off with MLB, get it on out the way. Now, these are just my top plays, guys. This is not a lineup. So, you know, hey, well, if you could make it work, I guess you could make it work. But uh, this is just the top plays that I like at, uh, at at each position, guys. So as you can see, I'm going to go with Talion at the top. All right. He's the best pitcher on the slate. You know, as far as the stat goes, you know, look at that, 40 and 30. All right, guys, he's getting Miami. And again, he has a nice matchup, so I like him. Richards is my value play, guys. Again, he's kind of up and down, but he's playing against a Kansas City team that hasn't been hitting well. So I like his chances of getting a few Ks and uh, putting up around uh, 20 DK points. All right. So it's just that's my two pitches at the moment, guys. All right. Goldie. I like Goldie versus uh, Heel, I believe, is, is who's uh, uh, pitching for the Dodgers. But it's a righty lefty matchup. And this guy here, he, he loves righty lefty matchups. So I like a chance for him to knock one out the park, guys. All right. Cool beans. Goldsmith. Cano's another player in a good spot. He gets his friend, Mr. Cruz, back. All right, but it's another uh, lefty-righty matchup, and this guy here, uh, he can send one out the, out the park, guys. As you can see right here against Oakland, he's, he already has one home run. I'm sorry, not one home run, but 13 uh, DraftKings points. He had a couple of uh, uh, runs, it looks like, RBIs. So, all right, I like his chance to put up some points either through RBIs or either through uh, knocking one out the park, guys. He's yet to hit a home run. This guy here is a power hitter. All right, he has to come out of his closet eventually, okay? All right, Cano. All right, Simeon, I like him just because he's a cheap player, bad lead off. All right, I like his chance to give me a, give me about 10 to 15 DraftKings points, maybe get a couple RBIs or uh, whatever, but I just like him as a value play, guys. All right, because, again, I'm going to be playing up for some big bats, and I'm going to need some value in some positions, like catcher and shortstop. Mike Trout, you know, he's always a, a, a – he has the potential, potential to knock out Home runs, they get a double ding, you know. So he already has five home runs. And, again, he is a reverse split guy. So that means if he's facing a right-handed pitcher, you don't fade him because you're thinking uh, righty versus righty. Well, no, it's the exact opposite for this guy. So if you look at the splits, two games, he has four hits, eight at-bats, all right. He has OPS of 1.475. Guys, what more can you ask for? I'm paying up for Trout, okay? What the hell? Get the hell off my screen. All right. Hanniger, he's another player in Seattle, kind of like the Seattle Oakland game. But Hanniger's another guy. He he went off last night, guys. As you can see, he had four RBIs, a home run, put up 23 DraftKings points, and I like to ride the high bats, guys. So I'm going back to Hanniger at 3.5K. Very cheap. It has a good Woba versus the pitcher handedness. And then Corey Dickerson. Again, I like the Pittsburgh Pirates versus Miami. Again, if you look at this particular game log, the last game he put up 10 DraftKings points. All right, but again, he's cheap, 3.8K, and again, he has the ability to put up some good points because he used to smash when he played in um, Tampa Bay. But those are my top plays for MLB at the moment, guys. Follow me on Twitter uh, for any updates that I may ha uh, put out, but at, right now, those are my top plays. Again, this is not a lineup. All right, so let's switch on over to NBA. Again, these are just my top plays, and for me, I'm looking for value, guys. All right, because at the end of the day, if you get your 12K – guy that only puts up 50 DK points, is that better than the guy that's 5K that puts up 40? You know, so, but for me, these are the top plays for me, guys. Evan Turner gets to start with Harkless out, all right? I like his chances of putting up around 35 DraftKings points, all right? Because, again, this is the playoffs, guys. It's going to be a high-scoring game. New Orleans is in Portland, okay? So, I like Evan Turner for his price, and he's getting the start. Kyle Anderson, guys, just play this guy. The last time these two teams met, Golden State and San Antonio, I told you I don't know what it is about this guy, but he plays well versus Golden State. You see four games, he's averaging 28 minutes and putting up 35, almost 40 DraftKings points. So for a guy that's 4.6K in the playoffs, 
you know, I'm expecting him to step up and show our guys. So I like Kyle Anderson. Like I said, I don't know what it is about this team, but he plays very well versus Golden State. Now, it is a road, road game. He's playing in Golden State, which could be a little intimidating, but, hey, I like his chances anyway. Now, Dario Saric, again, he's a good play because uh, Embiid's already been ruled out. And as you can see versus Miami, he he does well anyway. He's He should get a double-double. All right, guys. All right, And then plus, like I say, Embiid is out. They're going to need his scoring. They're going to need him to step up and produce. And so I like his chances of putting up th- uh, 35 to 40 draft king points at that 6K. We love it. All right. Go tight. Come on, guys. Now, I understand this guy's been inconsistent. His minutes has been all over the board, right? But it's the playoffs time, guys, and he's playing against Toronto, guys. All right. Him and Jay Vale are going to box it out. And I like Gortat's chance, a guy that's 4.8K. All right, if you look at the last time these teams met, four times they've met, he averages 30 DraftKings points, guys. That's over six times value. Why wouldn't I want that on my team in a playoff game? All right, so I'm locking him in. I like Gortat. All right, now DeMar DeRozan, like I say, for whatever reason, he owns and uh, the uh, Washington Wizards. All right, so this is where you want to attack them at, is at the small forward position. All right, so I like... The Rosen to come on in and drop off 45 DraftKings points for him. It's playoff times, guys. He's at home. This is when the big dogs show up and they earn, earn their paycheck, guys. So I like the Rosen. All right. Holmes is going to be my sleeper play. Everybody's probably going to go to Amir Johnson when um, they find out that Embiid is out. But I like this Rashawn Holmes kid at home. You know, he can put up a quick double-double off the bench, all right, and come in and make uh, Amir Johnson look like trash. All right. So if you look at the last couple of times these teams played, he put up 24 DraftKings points in 22 minutes, okay? And again, we're talking about value. That's a good value play when you come up to 4K, guys, all right? So I like his chances, again, exceeding that. Look at the last game he played. He played, uh, he put up 19 points and seven rebounds, a couple of blocks, put up almost 40 DraftKings points in just 27 minutes played. Like I said, I like Rashawn Holmes better than I do with Mary Johnson, but that's just me. You play who you like. All right, Amino, Aminu, I like him again in this high-scoring game versus uh, New Orleans. All right, they're going to need him on the floor to play defense, so he's going to play heavy minutes. And I like his chances of putting up around 35 DraftKings points. As you can see, he averages around 38, I mean 28. But again, if this guy's shot start falling, you know, he can put up a couple of points and get a double-double easily. So I like this game. I like this play right here, guys. So that's my top plays at the moment, guys. As you can see, this is not a lineup. Again, you got 13.8K left over. But again, guys, some of the players you want to pay up for, guys, you know, for me personally, I like Wall at 8.5K. That's a steal. This dude is going to have his hands on the ball. He's going to be pretty much be the offense. Everything is going to flow through him. And uh, he's a player that I would like to play up for. All right, Dame Litter. He's at home. Dame game in a high-scoring game versus New Orleans. Again, the ball is going to be in his hand. He's going to be the guy taking the last shot. He's going to be on the floor because they need to win. They're at home. They want to get ahead. All right. Whiteside, he's in a plus matchup versus Philly, who's a little hurt at the, at the center spot. Like I said, he's – uh. but the question is, what is his minutes going to be? Is he only going to play 22 minutes? Again, it's the playoffs, guys. I like his chances of, of playing more minutes and putting up more points. All right. C.J. McCullum is another play, guys. Kyle Lowry stack with DeRozan because, again, it's playoffs, guys. This is where the big boys come to play. All right. And then Draymond Green. I forgot about him. All right. I like Draymond Green versus San Antonio. All right, guys. So that's some of my top plays. Good luck on today's DraftKings slate, whether you're playing M- NBA or MLB, whatever the case may be, guys. Share your uh, your picks in the comments, guys. If you have any suggestions or any plays that you like, any sleeper picks that you're on, share them in the comments, guys. All right. If you love the video, hit that like button. If you Enjoy the content and you want more of it, you're new to DFS, MLB, or NBA, hit the subscribe button. All right, well, I'll talk to you guys next time.